Good day. Uh, one of the questions we get asked a lot, uh, we, we get customers who come to us after getting a website from another developer and they were sold a custom website, they paid a custom website price, and it turns out that their site was actually just a stock template. And there's nothing that upsets us more when a customer was taken for a ride and charged for uh, something that they didn't get. And what I want to do is I'll show you how to tell. Uh, there's some easy ways, um, particularly in WordPress, if a web developer is using a store-bought template or if they're truly being creative. And uh, I'm going to flip over here to a site. And this is a web development firm. And if you look at here, you'll see that they do web development. And you can flip over. Uh, and they say that they do custom web development. Oh, man, that site is slow. Uh, and they have all this information here okay well what you can do is you can right click on the website uh, from a browser this would typically be on a computer instead of a mobile device and you're gonna click view page source and when you go to page source uh, if you hit control F you can search um, I'm actually going to slide the screen up here so you can do this and just search for the word themes um, what happens here is you'll see WP content, etc. And you're going to see down here themes. And then right after it is a folder called SEO WP. And if you go over to the style sheet one, there will be a couple of them here. This will be SEO WP style sheet. Uh, you can click on that. And a lot of times, if they don't even take the time to change the basic, you can see that they bought this from Theme Forest. Uh, right there and uh, or if they have removed the comment uh, in an effort to kind of be uh, sneaky or whatever you can flip over here and go to Google type in SEO WP theme you're gonna see some links here and uh, uh, you'll see that here it is um, the SEO WP theme uh, and it's a whopping forty nine dollars and so if you paid more than a couple hundred dollars for your website and they used a stock theme, you should probably, I wouldn't blame you if you were upset. Uh, if we look at this, you have the phone number, the info, uh, about services, case studies, uh, some sliders, uh, information appear on the front page of the Google. This is all from the stock theme. If we go back to the customer, we go back to the home page here. Um, ironically, it has almost the same title, uh, same menu bar, uh, free SEO analysis. I think this one also had uh, free SEO analysis, even the same stock graphic. Uh, you scroll down a little bit, appear on the front page of Google, you flip back here, um, appear on the front page of Google. They even use the stock theme images and uh, looks like the same text even. Let's go back here. Uh, a little bit differently they, they changed uh, some of it um, the thing to be aware of is it, it's not necessarily bad to use a theme I mean you can get a great deal you can buy you know this theme uh, and apply it to WordPress for $49 but if you're paying a professional for a website uh, it would be hopeful that they would do uh, a custom job and charge and, and charge appropriately for the services that they're providing. Uh, uh, here's another one you go over um, and I'm going to end up blurring the names out here uh, but here's a full service he does custom websites etc this individual um, and if you go to his source code ironically what happens here is he's actually obfuscated it so it's a little more difficult to find it you're going to go in here and go to themes. You can go highlight all, and uh, it jumps all the way over because he's compressed all the spaces and everything. And it's themes consulting. If we jump over here and we go to Google and we look for consulting WP theme or consulting WordPress theme, you'll see that again there's a there's one here uh, on Theme Forest. And if we jump over to Theme Forest, it's $59. If we take a look at the theme, uh, here's the, here's a copy of the stock theme, uh, the consulting logo, uh, phone and everything up here in the top, uh, your slider, uh, industries, 
with some info boxes, uh, testimonials, and if we go back to the, their site, it's, again, it's almost the same. You have your address and phone over here. Uh, you have your slider. Uh, you have your info boxes. Um, th this gentleman actually changed the graphics and things like that. You have to give him some kudos here. Uh, and then you have your reviews. So uh, the big deal here is uh, you want to make sure that you get what you pay for. And if you're paying for a custom design or you're paying it for a professional to build you a website, it would seem that they should build you a custom site that is specific for your business. Uh, thanks for listening. I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, you can always contact us at thewebdesignninja.com. Thank you and have a great day.